High Kick Micro B10 Unbox. Comes with a couple little nice things, a little sticker, a little thank you from them. Packaging isn't overly nice, but it's still not too bad. Currently 359 on Amazon right now. I think they could have honestly balanced it a little bit more. Just adding a little bit more weight down here to the bottom would have been nice. Right where the, uh, the screw hole is for mounting. That would have been a nice little add because it's so top heavy. Okay, I don't know how common that is in the realm of thermal imaging guns. But that's pretty impressive. It came with its own block. And then different adapters depending on the country that you're in. The cable is not bad. It's pretty thick gauge. I don't think there's anything really special about it. It's pretty convenient. It looks like it just slides in there. The uh, two prongs here just transfers power to these. It does have a locking clip on the back, which is nice. I am a little questionable about the uh, the quality of that clip, though, because if that breaks, then this would just be annoying. It does have a shutter on here, so I'm not exactly sure what that's for yet. I don't know if that's the thermal imaging camera right there or if it's the top one, but I'm pretty sure that it's this one here. I'm guessing that that's in case of certain situations. I did glance through the entire user manual. I didn't see anything about it. I'm pretty sure it's just to protect it that it doesn't get scratched then. Honestly, I thought that would have been a little bit more. In uh, some spaces, depending on the, the type of lens uh, and then the area that you're in, it would be uh, uh, needing a little bit of extra protection against certain uh, outside factors. You know, not radiation in some cases, but... Anyways, it is uh, drop rated for two meters. I don't think that the uh, the lens itself, not the lens, sorry, the screen itself is drop rated for two meters though, obviously, but looks pretty good so far. Let's fire it up. Okay, the bottom one here wasn't sure initially, but that's actually a flashlight. That's pretty cool. So when doing the setup, the power button also uh, doubles as the OK button or the select button. I'm going to have to do a little bit more digging into this. This is going to be my first time using a thermal camera, but it's got different settings depending on what it is that you're looking at. Uh, the distance looks like it's capped out at 50 meters. To my understanding, this Super IR is going to be your higher resolution. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it looks like it's having a little bit of issue with glass. So the heat in there is somehow reflecting me. I don't know how it does that. I'm guessing it's also white that it's picking up, not just heat. This is part of the reason why I got this in the first place. Got some leakage there as well. But I'm going to try and see if I can test this against the thermal gun as well. Okay, so it does start to heat up right in here. I'm not quite getting 88 out of it. But it definitely does have an increase in temperature right in there. I think this might be more accurate. Yeah, I'm going to have to put in a recommendation for this. 